Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will um, I actually buy a Olympus pen F. And that's why I am will working with the Olympus pen F. Uh, and this will be part one. Um, and there will be some parts, I don't know how many, depends on how much I go into it. And maybe uh, I will, um, yeah, well, I, I don't know how many parts there will be. So let's just continue. I mean, <laughs> just go ahead. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll just use a lot of tools, different tweezers, screwdrivers, scrapers, uh, whatever, tools. Um, so nothing special. Now, the, the, the Olympus pen is a really great little camera. And I think, mm, well, I have just buy one on uh, eBay with a uh, two lenses and uh, this one. So I would like to, I mean, also like to use it uh, for taking photos, but also uh, to go into it because it has some issue. And um, yeah, so let's just begin. There is not, I mean, I haven't found any repair manual for this uh, particular camera. So um, I'll just dig into it. I mean, I have already been into it um, and simply dig in to see what I could find out and um, also uh, what could be done, what should be taken care of before you take it apart, I mean go into it. There's no problem taking off the front, uh, I mean the top, the bottom and the front part, well, there are some some things uh, to be aware of. So, uh, yeah, let's go into it. Let's see how it will work. Uh, it's a double stroke camera. It's a half format. Um, so uh, it's uh, there can be seventy two pictures on one on one film, which is quite good. It has a problem. I mean, it has some other problems. If we set it to one second, well, it's way too slow. Um, sometimes it doesn't really work, as you can see now. So one can actually move it a little to, I mean, it will get more easy if we go a quarter second, but still. It's, uh, it's not the best. So, I have made some, uh, a lot of marks inside, which I think it's a good thing uh, for this. And uh, it, it is because the repair manual, I mean, I found a, a exploded uh, drawings on the, uh, on the web. It, you can find it in many places. But um, I didn't found any, I mean, and that's one for the FT, not this one. This is the F without the self timer and the meter. Um, I think there are maybe two, three, four, five different uh, versions of this. Um, I'm not sure. But let's begin with things. Um, we need to go into the camera, but before doing so, we set the camera to B. That's the start. And um, then taking off the, and we can just fire the shutter, it is fired. So, like this. Now taking off the uh, button here. The knob, uh, which set because I need to go into the front here, and for that I need to take off the top, the button, 
the mount um, to make things a lot easier and uh, but taking off this one uh, there is sitting three set screws around here and here that's what we begin with and um, we also just have to loosen the set screws just loosen them see whatever they are and on the other hand the set screw in my camera here was very tight so uh, and it could be the issue with your camera so um, I simply take some isopropyl alcohol on a cutting bud nothing special about that and simply dip it into oh there was not much on um, so there just let it suck in and here and here of course my screws are not very tight anymore because I've been into it before so taking one millimeter flathead screwdriver and simply go into the three set screws and loosen them only and I will also use my my hat my glove uh, <laughs> my glasses uh, as a hat it will make things a lot easier with the manic fine glasses and I also made this uh, video in uh, 3d actually which uh, will come out uh, I mean I think it will be fine to make a 3D video out of this and uh, because maybe it will, will be more clear for some people uh, I don't know but just give it a try now over that see the button sits like this since we're here and it's connected to another part in here which is this one it doesn't really matter how it sits it's the same all of it so but just put it in again you see to make things clear that this is B. I simply set a mark up here, take out the part here, and make another scratch in here. It will make it a lot easier because that's B, setting B out here. And uh, in that way, it's uh, possible for me to find out where it should sit when I assemble it again, the correct way. Now, um, one of the things that was a bit difficult for me, uh, it was actually to take off the the leather, uh, it's plastic leather, not really, uh, but it took some time uh, because I need to use a one of those heaters um, but of course I've already been into it so of course they are uh, what's here it's uh, already loose but we need to take off the mount here off with that and I have a screwdriver all the screws here are the same lengths so no problem here So 
So all for those. And take this. So and remember how it sit. I mean, you cannot sit it in a wrong way because the the space between here and here is not the same. So it should be clear. <laughs> no problem with that. A magnetic screwdriver is a very good thing. Working with this. And then we can lift off the mount. And there's nothing special. You see there are three um, sp springs down here on the back. Uh, which is for the lens. Now, next thing is um, we can just take off the the leather, uh, plastic leather, here. And um, since my is all always, I mean, all already <laughs> uh, taken off by heating, take care of not heating too much. And uh, here you can see it. And there is also here on the other side. But uh, I cannot take it off yet. Uh, but I need to take off the top cover. Which sits by one screw over here. And two screws underneath here. Which you can see here and there. And of course the bottom plate sits with two screws one here and there take care of this one because we need to take it out the out the bottom plate uh, this uh, could probably as you see it's spring loaded and it could just uh, flew away hmm. not it will but it could be now take it off one screw here and um, not all screws are magnetic and take care of this screw here is longer the only one is longer here than the the other two in here they are shorter so and we will take up the pull out the to open the back and uh, here you can see here and the only thing we need to do is have a flat tool or tweezer or so put it in here and unscrew this counterclockwise so there's no need for taking out the screws no no so we'll just unscrew it and uh, that's very simple that's it and the pin here I mean the the rewinder axle here is uh, just let it be I mean we can just press it down a little it will stay there close the lid Hold on a second <laughs> uh, before we do anything. Um, I need to take out the the two screws here, and there is also a a wire in here for the flash contact. So that's it. See, the three screws here are not the same length. Now, that was it. Press it down and the shutter is fired. So, now we can take off the top cover. Uh, maybe I should take off the bottom part, <laughs> bottom part too. Um, So that's done. Take care of the small screws.
and the other one. So, put it somewhere where you can find them again. I put them not together with this, uh, this here. So I can take off the bottom part here. Can sit tight. Take care of the small pin here. So better take it off here if it's possible. And now lift off the top cover. I mean <laughs> the bottom power, top the bottom plate. So it was well. Put it away, and there we see something inside here. As I remember, I'm a, I mean as I mentioned, this little plastic pin will not disappear. So you better keep it in a safe place. So. Now, we're not done yet, uh, because then I can lift off the the top cover. In a, yeah, you see, <laughs> the part that fall off inside is, of course, the shutter button. It has to sit like this in here, as you can see here. And um, yeah, it's a bit uh, strange way they put it in. Now, the wire for the flash, and there is also a spring in here, uh, which I will tell you about in a second. See the wire here? I'll just uh, unscrew it with a longer screwdriver. Just loosen it. So that's fine. So that's it. Away with that. Yeah, you see the spring here is actually part of the the lock system for the back film back here, and it sits over here. Just so you know that. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, what to do? The next thing is we need to set some marks, which is very, very uh, important here. And uh, one of the thing is because I will have the shutter, the, the, the film door closed because of the shutter plate here, which is not a curtain, it's a metal disc, a half actually. So it's a, it's a half shape, half moon shape, uh, which is somewhere connected in here. Uh, we will see it later on. But one thing is, it's important to set, I mean, the shutter is fired. And, oh gosh, come on. You see, the roller that actually um, pull in the, uh, in the film to wind it. Set a mark here. As you probably can see, I set a mark here with a um, a permanent marker, it will say here and here, but also here and here. That's important, as I will show you uh, later on. I also set a mark up here and here. And 
also set a mark here. This is just to remember where things should sit. The spring here has actually activate the uh, rewinder arm so it will flip back. I also set a mark here because this is a clockwise unscrew uh, screw <laughs> for the uh, film counter. That's very important, those things. Uh, and I also did a lot of um, scratches inside the camera. Now, uh, I actually think about, okay, how did I uh, approach this? Uh, because I will separate it into different parts uh, videos. Now, the uh, wire here will just go around it. Normally stays around here, like this, over to here somewhere. It will not go on this way around because it will interfere with the um, with the locking arm here. So the wire has to go on this side here, just to remember. So now. Um, the more important thing is on the bottom part, because if we take a look here, this is an F. Maybe the FT looks a bit different. It does, maybe, in some cases. As I uh, see here, this is a, the older model, because this arm here uh, is in one piece on the FT, which is not this one here. It's separated in two pieces. Uh, and again, maybe some of the things I'm not 100% sure it is uh, the same on the FT, because I do not have a repair manual. Now, one of the main thing is, it is very I mean, at the moment, the shutter is released. It will say it's not uh, ready for shooting. So one of the things I found out is if, I mean, when I take the whole shutter assembly out here, I mean, part of the shutter assembly, it will be the, the uh, yeah, what you say, the viewfinder assembly and the uh, mirror assembly is all together. And it's that part of this here. And one of the main thing is the when you put it back in again, those parts here, I mean, those uh, gears here, has to go in the exact same position again when you assemble it. So this is extremely important because if you want to mess messing around uh, with the uh, how do I mean how should they sit? I mean is the one tease or other tease to one left or right? You don't know. So if you just take out the the whole shutter, I mean the mirror, you find the assembly. This gear here will just uh, flew back here. I mean, wind back here somewhere, uh, just half a, a turn, as long as the shutter is fired already. So, it's really important to set marks here so the two the two uh, dented gear here is sitting with the exact same position and it's also a good thing to set a mark here on this plate that's our first mark in here there will be more marks uh, this gear here, together with the 
with this um, I don't know what's called is the tension of the the uh, mirror of the mirror flip back uh, I mean when it closed the mirror and opens the mirror again it will um, it should sit the correct place if not well if you wind the camera um, you will not, not have it in the correct place so that's why it is so important you can do whatever you want um, with a mark uh, I mean use one of those mark here or a scratch it doesn't really matter the main thing is that you set marks in here I already did it so set one here I uh, know it's difficult it can be difficult to see set one here and uh, one on the other gear here it's also good to set a mark here and also here and here and uh, the more marks you have the better you chances you have to reassemble it set also a mark here and you see this is uh, part of the shutter assembly in here and set the mark here which is very useful up here and here and um, yeah that's all for now not not really <laughs> we miss one here see on the front plate here it will say you set a mark somewhere here and you also set a mark here which I already have done not easy to see I know but those two has to sit in line it will uh, no matter what but just so you make sure it is correct those five screws here I mean four uh, no five <laughs> sorry five three long and those up here are shorter than those three but before we take the front uh, part off we need to take out a few things which will make it easier when uh, we come that long um, let's see the spring here we have to unhook it so it's free and this plate will um, there is a spacer underneath here somewhere which we will see uh, where is my screwdriver here so that and then it comes off see a spring and a screw put it somewhere and we take out this part here and there is a spacer so there there's no need for taking off this, this here yet uh, it will come sooner next thing is the um, this bar here which you can see here this bar here which is connected from here to there it sits with two screws no there is only one screw the other one is uh, for I mean it's used to adjust this bar here so when you loosen this one a little you can adjust this into correct position but I will not unscrew this but this one you have to unscrew because then you can separate the 
two bars and uh, that we will do here now <laughs> uh, it was a little complicated to actually get this off uh, those two bars here so we're gonna figure it out it's not really necessary to I mean it could be a little difficult to get off here so I found out okay I have to move this a little but by pushing this away I can uh, hopefully not this one we have to go deeper down here and have this bar to actually move a little see it's not that easy so put this away and the other bar which is this one I thought it would be easy to get out but it wasn't so I think okay should it be one way no it should be that way and then you can take it out and it's the same when you put it back in again some of those uh, can be a little tricky if we can just put it back in again should be quite easy yeah so you see here you have to go that way now now the two <coughs> uh, parts here are in a way separated from each other but the only thing that connects them is the gear here and uh, that's why we can uh, actually take out the the uh, front part here but not yet we just miss one thing which I will go into you see the the cover here for the uh, for the uh, shutter uh, I mean the exposure time sits with two screws here and there nothing special about that they are countersunk and magnetic which is good so keep them in a safe place now this part can be taking off nothing special you see why it's not possible to just pull this uh, this uh, the name I mean the <laughs> number ring here because it sits with another ring on the back no need for taking that off so now we're here um, and which is quite important in here because it will make things a little easier you see I mentioned earlier that is a good thing to set marks here so set the mark here the scratch no one will see it and that's where the B is I also set other marks here in, in here but it will it will come uh, sooner as long as you know where the B is uh, it's also you can see the 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 gap here which is the small connection here uh, from the actual button on the front 
So let set it there for B. And then I am actually possible to take off the front. Yeah. So uh, let's do that. Um, just take off the screws here on the front. They are non-magnetic brass screws. So those two are shorter than the other three. Just so we know that. Make sure you have set a scratch here. This one, you see the screws are longer, maybe. As we can see here, the shorter and the longer. So, away with those. And then, now, Keep the wire away, it will just uh, it will not do anything. But you see, oh, one thing I'm, I forgot take off the eyepiece here. Um, it sits with two screws here and there, and it's made of plastic. Magnetic screws, nice. So there, and then we can just take it off, no problem here. Now, haha, <laughs> now the point comes. We can take off the, the uh, front, the whole front assembly here with the uh, mirror assembly which makes the move and the whole viewfinder assembly. And by doing that, we have to press it out a little and then turn it over. Um, and as we can see here, I'll pull it out. See, it goes on in here. See, Look here for the uh, for the uh, uh, gear wheels, and then you see it moves back a little. That's why the marks are so important, and in that way it m will move even more. So now I can pull this out here, and then we have it. Whoa! inside. What a m mechanical, um, yeah, extremely good engineering. So this is the mirror assembly. And you see the mirror actually, I mean the, the gear wheel here actually turned half a turn from what it actually was. Where is my mark? Here somewhere. Should be there. Yeah. You see, it's a bit uh, not fast. You see, it's a bit uh, slowly. Which also makes sense because um, the mirror in here was a little not active in a way. Now, 
next thing is um, yeah I think I will just take out the whole piece here so we have the the um, the mirror uh, viewfinder assembly out and also take out the shutter assembly which we see here now if I mean if you want to maybe I should have mentioned that before if the one second is a bit too slow this is the assembly for that and um, to actually take that out before I, I I do not need to take out the whole uh, shot of assembly in here uh, because if I only want to work with the slow gear here um, that I will do that yeah well I should have mentioned that before but uh, yeah uh, planning a video like this is not that easy you see I set two marks here two red marks and I also I mean also set a mark here and also on the on the other end of the pin here so if I set this to here which will actually be one second no not at all it will be uh, yeah it will be one second so this is B and this is one second so if I turn this I mean wipe the shutter which is possible the tab down here see this tab here is actually for activating the shutter so if I do that look what's happened well you see the mirror uh, assembly in here is not in uh, so things will go a bit faster because it uh, you see it's uh, not engaged with the um, with the uh, mirror assembly uh, so things will go of course a little faster but we can just do it again not <laughs> you cannot press down the shutter button you need to press in this pin here so that we do that So if I release the pin here, you can just do it again. If I hold it on, see what's happened. It will move, but of course it's a bit slowly, even if the mirror housing is not in. So it doesn't really work that much, that good. So one thing is to do, as I said, I uh, set a mark here and remember this is sitting on one second I also set a mark over here and here so those four points are what do you say <laughs> in line in a way and in that way I can take out the ones uh, the slow gear it sits with one screw here, this one here, this one here, and this one over here. So, and remember, remember, this one, this screw is not the same as this one. This is a countersunk screw which I will show you I mean this is the countersunk screw this is not this is just a flat head screw I mean the underneath so I can begin with that 
take it out and you probably can see hopefully it's a um, it's flat on the on the the underside of the screw head but if I take the other one I mean when I take the other one it is different you probably can see the difference between the two they look similar but aren't so it's a good thing to actually make it red instead uh, here and the last screw sits here it's a brass it is also a counter screw so here we are and it's actually possible to take out the whole uh, slow gear shacks in here this is how it looks and uh, it remind me of <laughs> I forgot thing something um, I can just put it in again um, like this here you see one thing is that I forgot to mention see the I've uh, put a mark down here on the the connection from the uh, shutter pin here and it has to sit like this if you could forget to put it in the correct way uh, and you set this uh, the little red end here where I sit put it between the two legs here it will not work just remember that so now I can take out the the slow gear assembly you see how it works and this is how it, it looks how it is and I could simply just put it into something um, isopropyl alcohol or so one thing to mention too there is a spring here which has to sit correct you see this spring here uh, which sits on the arm here this spring has to sit up. Oh, it turns around here. It has to sit. Ah, come on. Okay, better take another good tool. Where is it? See, this little spring here has to go on this side of that pin so it sits like that hopefully you can see it and uh, see when it moves it will move it out of uh, its position because of the pin here it's free at the moment so I can just put it back in again and of course it will flew out of place like that it sits where it should but as long as I um, see 
if I move the the pin here, I mean put my fingers away, it will just uh, go out of position. Hopefully if you move it too much, well, maybe not. And the other springs also, just so we know where they should sit. Correct. This pin up here, no. On the back there is not really much to see. So, that was part of it. I think uh, that's enough for this part. I will continue.